Catherine's chic, smart, casual look in favorite camel coat with navy ensemble for a slow visit today. The Royal has a new style go-to that we can't get enough of. Kate Milton is the queen of versatility. One second she's walking the red carpet in a revamped 2019 BAFTAs gown, and the next delivering a landmark speech in an all-red matching blazer and trouser. And for her latest outing, she is flipping pancakes and pairing her signature coat with her go-to outfit formula, monochromatic dressing. Kate Milton, Princess of Wales, paid a visit to the Oxford House nursing home today in Slough, England, to celebrate Shrove Tuesday, also known as Pancake Day. In honor of the day celebrating the breakfast food and the day before Ash Wednesday, the Princess of Wales remixed navy and camel pieces from her wardrobe. For the fun-filled engagement, the Princess of Wales rewore a 460-pound coat from Max & Co., previously slain last year as a part of an all-camel ensemble. The Royal Outwears was layered over atop a long-sleeved deep blue turtleneck which she tucked into a high-waisted pleated trousers of the same shade. And while a neutral coat is somewhat of a signature look for Kate, she paired it with an on-tread color-blocking outfit, featuring navy wide leg trousers, a navy turtleneck, and matching handbag. If Kate Milton's navy and gold outfit doesn't serve Princess Diana, we don't know what does. From chic turtleneck with smart trousers to perfectly matched accessories, the new Princess of Wales is certainly reminding us of the last. Only days after Kate Middleton signaled a shift in her style as Princess of Wales by borrowing a fashion tip from the Queen and Princess Anne, she's at it again. Did you spot her accessories? Coordinating like a pro, the wife of Prince William was armed with her Instagram It Girl handbag, the Pauline Numero Sept mini style in cobalt blue. It appears the purse in Kate's colorway is not available for purchase, but the French brand is offering it in a similar blue hue, as well as several other shades. As for hues, Middleton opted for pointed toe pumps by Emmy London in a blue suede style to match her outfit's ongoing coral scheme. The sharp silhouette is a go-to shoe for the princess, no matter the shade. The heels range from about 3 to 4 inches in height, giving Middleton a little bit of a boost. As usual, Middleton's hair was worn parted down the middle and set in loose waves that cascaded down her back while her glowy makeup combo was immaculate as ever. Once again, all our attention was on her jewelry. She wore a pair of electric blue vintage-inspired button earrings, complete with gold texture detailing. Like at the BAFTAs, Kate proved that a statement earring is becoming her go-to styling trick. The addition of statement earrings at nominally affordable prices have become de rigueur for the mother of three at her last few engagements. In fact, her BAFTA earrings which hailed from Zara were a steal at just 17 pounds, although they are now being resold on eBay for 10 times the price, thanks to their new royal endorsement. Her look had us mesmerized from head to toe, but the statement earrings gave major Sharapelli vibes and proved that you don't need to break the bank to ensure all eyes are on you. Despite having access to wealth of royal jewels, Kate has worn several pieces of affordable jewelry in recent months, including a pair of 100-pound Cezanne earrings that Prince Willem gifted to her on Christmas Day. It wouldn't be out of the question if Kate was placing more of a focus on affordable pieces as she finds it inappropriate to her valuable jewels during the cost of living crisis. For the formal occasion, Milton wore the sweeping white dress by Alexander McQueen. Milton's one sleeve style featured an asymmetric neckline that cascaded into layers of tiered flounces. The piece was finished with a similarly draped flounce hemmed skirt. The dramatic piece was paired with black elbow length gloves. Princess Kate appears to have stepped up her efforts to safeguard her health recently, taking several measures to ensure she stays well. While a mask was standard procedure for the royals in the depths of the pandemic, Princess Kate hadn't worn one for several months before her latest engagement. It is likely the 41-year-old wore the mask to protect the early residents of the care home, though the royal appears to have taken several steps to safeguard her health in the last few weeks. In addition, during a visit to the Royal Liverpool University Hospital, Princess Kate could be seen helping herself to hand sanitizer, a smart move to protect herself from illnesses. For the hospital visit, Princess Kate also opted to remove her engagement and eternity rings, reportedly for hygiene reasons.